Symmetry Surgical is the only company authorized to sell the original patented and trademarked Bookwalter Retractor. Hi, I'm Dr. John Bookwalter. Good exposure is the key to good surgery. And we're here to talk about the Bookwalter Retractor, which attaches to the table at a single point and holds rings and ovals of various sizes and shapes over the incision. Retractor blades of standard size and shape are positioned around the periphery of the ring or oval with quick release ratchet mechanisms which provide rapid adjustment and readjustment during the course of the operation. The Bookwalder Retractor is available with many component choices. In this video, I will discuss the components of the Bookwalder Retractor 3 kit. Lightweight table post, post coupling, horizontal flex bar, medium segmented oval ring, four inch straight ring segments, tilt and rotilt ratchet mechanisms, a variety of retractor blades with different depths, widths, and flexibility that are compatible with all ratchet mechanisms, and a twister ratchet to increase retractor pressure in appropriate situations. The table post is set up just after the patient is draped to eliminate the need to double glove later and to avoid interrupting the course of the operation to set up the retractor. The table post is attached to the table at a point where a second assistant would stand. It can be attached either before the patient is prepped and draped or after the drapes have been applied. The option of the over the drapes attachment of the table post is very important in cases where you're converting from a laparoscopic procedure to uh, an open procedure because there's less chance of compromising sterility and it's faster to get it set up. To attach the table post, pull out the recessed lever located at the top of the vertical post and fully open the rail clamp by turning the lever in a counterclockwise direction. Position the clamp over the drapes or directly over the side rail and turn the lever in a clockwise direction to attach the table post to the side rail. Ensure secure contact with the bed rail. Slide the horizontal flex bar into either of the holes in the post coupling. Slide the post coupling and the horizontal flex bar assembly over the top of the vertical post to the approximate location and lightly tighten the coupling. Make any final adjustments before tightening the coupling. To position the distal end of the horizontal flex bar, release the ball joints by turning the lever in a counterclockwise direction. After positioning the flex bar, tighten by turning the lever in a clockwise direction. After the incision is made and the abdomen is entered, select the ring, adjust its position and choose the appropriate retractor blades. One of the real advantages of the horizontal flex bar is that you can use it to get additional vertical extension by locking it up there and then of course this patient doesn't need it but when you have somebody that does need it, it's great to have that extra ability to get extra height. The tilt ratchet mechanisms are used to elevate the costal margins and to provide retraction within the depths of the wound. The tilt feature enhances the function of the blades by increasing their reach and allowing depth adjustment without changing blades. Tilt ratchet is our basic ratchet, which hooks on to all of our blades and allows you to place the ratchet and the blade exactly as you wish in the incision. Towing it in and then retracting it to a greater extent. The Rotilt ratchet mechanisms allow the surgeon to tow in with the blades as in a handheld retractor.
This is our latest row tilt, which allows you to go from side to side, and then the release mechanism is the same as it for the tilt ratchet mechanism. A single squeeze on the side of the ratchet releases everything. Since its introduction in 1978, the Bookwalter retractor has been continuously improved and upgraded with backward compatibility, uh, a chief consideration in any improvements.